It might get dangerous. I have no doubt. Hurry, please. It's really bad. We need to cut this arrow shorter. The slightest bump could cut off his breathing. Wait, stop. Stop. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Chip and Joanna Gaines. NBC Tonight. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. And that breaking news is happening in Compton, where a stolen car pursuit just ended after almost two hours. Ileana Moreno live in News Chopper 4. Ileana, this took several pit maneuvers in just the last few minutes. Several pit maneuvers, but it finally came to an end, Colleen. Let's actually show you the tape of how this pursuit came to an end. As you said, it was a very lengthy chase, almost two hours, but it finally ended here on Alameda and Rosecrans Avenue in the Compton area after the CHP brought in an SUV to attempt those pit maneuvers on this possible stolen Kia Optima. But it took about five tries because this guy kept managing to drive out of those pit maneuvers and continue the pursuit but finally it was a successful pit maneuver and boxing the vehicle in that finally brought things to an end but before this it was a wild chase that made its way all the way north up to the Boyle Heights area where the driver actually boxed himself in in a parking lot he couldn't find a way out his only way out was to ram through two separate fences and then ramped into a CHP cruiser so on top of driving a stolen car he was also wanted for assault with a deadly weapon on a peace officer. It's unclear if that officer was injured in any way, but again, a very lengthy chase, making its way on multiple freeways. The California Highway Patrol behind him, the CHP airship overhead, but finally came to an end here in Compton on Alameda and Rosecrans with one person in custody. That's latest here from Compton in News Chopper 4. I'm Eliana Marino. Let's send it back down to you in the studio. All right, Eliana, thank you for that. Our other big story tonight is the weather. And today we got a little bit of everything in Southern California. Cold for all of us, rain and gusty winds for some. And snow for our mountain communities as well. We have team coverage tonight. Melissa McGee with a look at the morning commute. But first, it is bad out there for drivers right now. Robert Kavasik at the Grapevine, where, Robert, we understand they're turning traffic around. Colleen. We wanted to get to the grapevine for you, but we couldn't. And neither could any of these cars that have been diverted now here in Castaic off of Parker Road. We, along with them, were in traffic for well over an hour because things right now are just so bad up at the Grapevine. They have closed the five freeway north here, and that is why you see all of these cars and these trucks now forced to get off. And as we swing around here, you can see those that think that they're going to find another way. Well, no way, because the CHP is there to make sure that you don't try to head up in that direction. As you said, we got a little bit of everything going on right now, but at the in the grapevine, take a look at what they're dealing with. Late tonight, all traffic on the five heading north delayed in Castaic. And that's because way up ahead, the grapevine is closed. Too much snow making it impassable north and south at Fort Tejon. This has been a Valentine's Day in Southern California to blow you over. Wind so fierce in the Mojave Desert, trucks have toppled from wind to rain. This is what it was like today in Ontario, and it got wet in Riverside as well. Up in the mountains, on the way to Arrowhead and Big Bear. In this type of weather, you got to be real careful, you know, driving up and down the mountain. Rocks can appear out of nowhere. Caltrans is always on it. They kick butt up here. The rain turned to snow and ice. Chains were the way to go, at least in the San Bernardino Mountains. But right now, those who want to go through the grapevine will just have to wait. We're just chatting with people here, Colleen. That lady right there is trying to go from LAX to Bakersfield, and we just told her she's probably not going to get there tonight. Now, from what we understand from the CHP, as soon as things look a little better, they're going to let the cars pass through. The night started by saying, well, we'll have an escort for you, and then they closed the grapevine completely. And right now, here in Castaic, I don't even know what's falling right now. Melissa McGee's going to have to figure it out for us. My photographer, Eddie Calderon, and I are trying. It's a, like a snow-rain combo.